and I always have an answer. So one way or the other, or I have a theory to why that is. So I thought, you know what, let's bring it to the channel. What would Jesus do? <laughs> it's about to get... Woo! We, yeah, you're going to see the real me now. Now you... like my hair how do you like my new do i'm in love with it i'm in love with the whole you know but anyway welcome back welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome 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 this is a loving space and well things are different now today i'm basically going to introduce a little bit of the new vibe that i'm going for so please comment down below let me know how you feel about it comment on the questions i'm going to be asking a lot of questions so please let me know on that and then yeah, let's let's just start. Let's just start. <clears throat> okay, guys. So this is the start of a new series that I. It's for the personal development side of this channel. So I've decided to start a new series called "Ask a Friend" or "Asking for a Friend." So. <laughs> It's basically, okay, let me just start from where all of this started. Yeah? So basically, I'm that type of person that I love information, you know. I like finding out how people think, how they think, and why they think that way. And I like finding out maybe something new, maybe some new theory or some new information that I don't know of. You know, I like challenging my, my thoughts and my mindset and all of that, you know. So I've been in quite of a mental shutdown. As I've spoken a little bit about it in my previous video so go check that out and then I sort of immersed myself in new information and also for the past year I've been on a sort of spiritual journey I'll go into that a little bit now now and yeah so basically as I'm going through these motions I started reading up a lot on spiritual stuff and sort of African spirituality and religions and where they come from what's happening and also I've been reading up on like interesting facts and all of that stuff and I've read a couple of books listened to a couple of books so I have a lot of information in my head and I thought you know what um, a lot of times like my friends and people around me would be asking me questions and I always have an answer so one way or the other or I have a theory to why that is so I thought you know what let's bring it to the channel um, okay, I'll make an example with this video so that you can kind of see what I'm going for and then we'll take it from there so because I basically would like you to ask me questions of anything that you have in mind but that you like curious about or something that you just don't understand and we can actually talk about it on this channel so because it's the first video there's no questions yet so i'll be sharing a lot of stuff that i found interesting and that i think you know it's kind of interesting so yeah so basically the, the the topic of today i just decided because i started to realize that a lot of times the, the voice in your head is not really your own voice, you know, I've mentioned this in past videos I've realized that most of the Voice inside of your head. It's not yours and I was trying to figure out why and most of the time before you make any decision It's like for me. It's like my mom's voice that would be telling me like okay, when I'm about to make a certain decision um, I would think okay I want to do this but something inside of me is like mm -mm, no not that but then that's like sort of my mom's voice saying no, this and this and her reasoning in me, right? Or I, I'd be in another situation and then it would be like a past teacher's reasoning of things or something that I've read or a book or something, but it's never really from me, you know? It's seldom, there are times where it's really from me and I can feel it, but half the times it's not. So I try to figure out like, why is it that half the time when I'm thinking and I want to do something, especially in a social setting, it's not, I don't do what I want to do. Uh, I do what I believe that the other person wants me to do you understand and I started like coming across information that 
the reason why um, we behave a certain way and it's called what is, I think they call it something like the mirror the mirror I'll write it somewhere on the screen I'll just yeah, I forgot what it's called but something to do with mirrors so basically how we behave in society it's, it's a theory that you don't do what you want to do you mostly do what you think the other person wants you to do so it's not even what the other person wants you to do it's what you think the other person wants you to do you understand so most of the time that's how we behave in society so i'll just um write it on the screen exactly to explain it in detail but that's basically where it all started and then from there i started to realize that half the time we don't really trust ourselves we don't trust ourselves and that's where every okay not every but most of the problems we have starts because you start when it's i think also it stems from um what do you call this uh fear of rejection you see so most of the time you you want to be accepted by society you want to be accepted by your friends or when you walk into a space it might not be as like oh i've been rejected by the world but it might be um just to you want to feel included or admired or loved or some sort of feeling when you're around people so because you want that it's basically your expectation you expect or you would wish that people like you right it might not be as blatant as you don't like me uh, or like how do they dramatize it in movies but you want people to generally like you or find you acceptable right and then because that's what you want that's your expectation you end up trying to figure out what you think is acceptable so now you walk into a setting it's your friend your friend okay, let's, let's let's just say it's a stranger i think it will be easier to explain that way someone that you've never met but in the cer certain setting that you are in you think okay perhaps this person thinks that in this setting this is how you're supposed to behave and then you end up behaving yourself in that, behaving in that way so that you are more acceptable or more toler tolerable i guess to the masses basically to that setting so every time i've also speak, spoken about uh, masking a lot of times in my previous videos so it's something like that where you put on this mask or this facade when you enter a certain group of people or a certain social setting because you want to be accepted you know you you fear that rejection that's where it comes from you see so let's bring it back so now I started realizing okay this whole distrusting yourself and all of that actually also comes from growing up you end up you actually how it starts it's that when you when you're young you don't really know much about the world so your parents guide you right so they will tell you no don't do this do this and half the time you don't really know you'll ask questions here and there but sometimes they'll tell you no I know better or whatever or you just sort of trust them you know so and in turn you lose trust in yourself so you don't think what you're doing is right because you've always been told so it's not just your parents sometimes it's just your guardian or your teachers or however depending on how you grew up and how you're sort of molded and, and, and shaped for the world or readied for the world so that happens and then in the long run you realize that you don't really trust yourself when you want to do something you're like oh should i do it should i not do it mm, is it right is it not right because you never really practice to trust yourself like okay this is what i want to do do it or i think about this the, it's, it's okay to get um information or guidance here and there of i'm thinking of doing this how should i do it should i do it this way how you understand but not to say uh what do you think i should do or what would jesus do <laughs> i just remember those little bracelets where wwjd what would jesus do so instead of you doing something i think you guys might know this instead of you doing something or in a certain situation when you're about to do something you think what would jesus do and you do that instead instead of what do you think you, that's okay let's not cross that line because i know a lot of christians so let's not cross that line anyway that's basically where it all started and then I started this spiraling down a rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. This is something that's exciting for me right now. I've been finding out a lot of different things about spirituality. And I found out a lot of things about spirituality related to me. And guys, 
guys i'm just i'm really excited about this 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 phase i'm in or this period i'm in let's call it that i guess i'm on the same thing but anyway so i'm excited i'm excited so i think this video seems messed up because i'm so excited but okay now with all of that you see i just basically vomited all information not all but information that i was thinking about for this video so now what my idea for this video right is to all the information that i've gathered sort of compress it organize it and then give it in, in a more understandable way right so I, I hope you're still following right okay wait let me let me make a snack right let's let's make a snack now that i've given you random information so how this works is then i'm basically going to sorry so basically you can ask a question like why is it that i fear rejection or why is it that when i'm around different groups of people i behave differently so with this group of friends i'm all i have this personality but with that group of friends i behave like this or why is it that i hate going outside or why do humans have this need to pretend around people you understand so in such a such a set um a question then i would I'd go to explain um in terms of maybe a bit of psychology or sociology a little bit there because i've been reading a lot about that and then a little bit of um, maybe genetics if it does if it is involved in behavioral genetics or something like that because that's something I went to school for and then I will also inter in integrate that with my thoughts my opinion like for example to answer let's pick one of the questions let's say um, why is it that I tend to behave differently around different groups of people right sorry I, I tend to behave differently around a group of people why is it that like how do how do you explain that and then i'll go to say what i was saying earlier that most of the time sorry we behave differently because according to social i think it's yeah this is the mirror theory i think it's something to do with social studies of some sort where then i'll go to explain just as i explained earlier on and then we'll try to figure out um how to integrate that with genetics just can't think of anything right now but basically that's how I'd like this to be and I want it to be very chilled and informal and you can also have a suggestion on snacks or food because as you can see we're going to be drinking a lot of tea we're going to be snacking here and there so I'll integrate a little bit of the food in here what type of things I snack on what type of things I drink I'll show you the type of smoothies I make something chilled and casual that you can basically like chats and talk with you know and then i'll also still have like a full-on let's make a meal situation but yeah this is basically what's going to happen the next video i would love to talk about conspiracy theories because i found out a lot of interesting things that i would like to discuss a lot of religious stuff spiritual stuff so i know it might cause a little bit of controversy but i think i think i think it's good i think it's good that we have platforms where we just talk about everything and anything and whatever's on our mind and our opinions because i feel like for so long for too long we've been just channeled to think a certain way and that's how you must think that's all nothing else and if you think something differently you are deemed bad or no that's demonic or that's evil or that's bad and sometimes it's just like it's a thought i'm curious i just want to know and I'm a very curious person, I have a curious nature, I want to know, I want to find out what is this, why this does that and all of that. But you're never really given the chance to explore, so here it is, here's the chance. If you're looking for a sign girl or guy, here it is. Let's explore. So next I'm thinking of, because okay, let me tell you, let me just a little, like a little bit, just a little bit. 
I was reading about um, what's this um, like hollow earth theory like I think it's called Agatha something like that like why they, there's people living in the in the inside of the, in the core of the earth because like, there's a lot of theories about it right um, and when you think about it scientifically we've never actually been to the core of the earth you've never seen it all the stuff we taught in school is because of like they're guessing it's basically calculated guesses they will tell you oh because when you press what what in what what it comes back so we're assuming that it's hard down there you understand or because the temperature goes higher and higher the deeper you go so we assume in the middle 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 it must be a ball of fire you understand and they're like oh yeah but when earthquakes like um what earthquakes what are these things volcanoes erupt there's like some molten lava it's very hot so that must be what's at the core of the earth you understand but in terms of digging to the core of the earth they've never really been that deep like it's really never been that deep you know so i'm curious like i'm curious what you guys think about that and if you guys are interested in such things and then what else did i find that i was like Ugh. and in terms of african spirituality like the the, the they call it um the origin of the humans where there's a lot of different people that talk about different things some people talk about the the nubians some people talk about guys i even have pictures for you guys i even have like references that I'm, I'm out here so I've, i'm very excited about that i hope you guys are interested in something like that so we can talk about that and i also found books of the bible that were not in the original bible that we know right now so okay not i can't really say it's original because it's like sort of diluted now but point is they've there was a, a lot of many uh, books of the bible so a lot of them were taken out so i kind of found like a few like the book of judas and stuff like that and how it talks about and i was like hold up what you know so a lot of these things um yeah they're very interesting so i just yeah and about like technological advances like technological advances yeah all of that and like what happens like all these like ai's and stuff and the secret language and hey guys hey guys and then there's also like ghosts and like supernatural things and also into meditation and how i elevate it like hey guys it's gonna be fun we, we we're gonna talk about a lot of things and a lot of these things are just mostly out of curiosity but i'm hoping that in most of them will find like something to learn something to maybe that resonates with you that you can sort of apply in your life or that will help you some way you might come across something and you're like hey isn't that that thing we were like thinking about or talking about and we sort of guessed it's this but like look it's happening hey i know how to react you understand so such things and yeah let me let me shut up because i feel like i'm too excited for this video <laughs> i'm too excited i'm just too excited but guys yeah stay tuned it's about to get Woo. Be, yeah you're going to see the real me now now you you're about to see the real me and what happens in this interesting brain of mine so anyway before i start eating again i love you guys goodbye goodbye thank you guys for watching remember to comment you can follow me on my instagram pages facebook um tiktok anyway actually find me mommy on a journey i'm everywhere and then also in this video just leave a comment and I'll, I'll answer it and if you have anything that you're just curious about it can be literally anything just let me know um we'll talk about it i even have i was actually thinking the original topic for this video was not going to be about sorry self-trust it was actually going to be about uh what, what was gonna i was going to talk about why we are attracted to who we are attracted to right because like I know, I know a lot of people seem to be attracted to the same type of person or sometimes it might not just be physical it might also be um uh you don't you can't really pinpoint like it's not physical they don't have something physical in common but it's a personality trait you know so why is it that you're attracted to and i was gonna like talk about this um there was this uh, i think it was my second year or third year in genetics uh, i can't remember where we talked about mhc's where the mito i think Michael so what what compatibility i can't remember but point is yeah genetically they explain why and stuff so that was the whole point of it but i got excited this morning and i was like hmm actually let's just let's just put it all out there and then we'll see what you guys want you know like here it is for both of us for all of us 
we're here to, it's a community right it's a family so we all have an input we all have a say so let me know guys thank you guys love you Bye.